Howdy folks, this is Country Boy 360 coming at you. So today I'm going to try to show you how to attach the uh, ABL, either the 1000 or the 1500, to the uh, Xsite 4K. Now I want to, I'm going to mount mine uh, behind the scope ring. So take this uh, sticker off, and then. Uh, so with the Able 1000, it came with the uh, the uh, spacer. Now the spacer has some 3M type padding in there, and you can see it has uh, two little uh, tick marks, and they line up. So you can tell which way. So this will go to the front of the scope, flat bar to go to the back. Also has these two little tabs uh, right here. So those tabs are. Uh, fit up against the scope. Now let me move the scope out of the way for a second. Now I did a video yesterday and I had a lot of feedback on the camera. I don't know if I'm touching the camera or if the tripod's just picking up everything that I'm moving on the table or what so if that happens again I apologize until I can figure out what the heck is going on. Alright so the first thing you want to do now it comes with inside the able comes with three uh, Allen wrenches. So first thing you want to do is uh, you want to loosen these all the way up. I already loosened these up this morning. So open and then open this up and you want to take out the uh, the sun shield that comes with it. Uh, you won't need this. Now if you're just going to place the able right on the front of the scope it's already threaded for the scope so you just can screw it right in. Uh, I'm putting this on a crossbow uh, I think if I had the sun shield and the able and all that stuff up, my scope's probably going to st stick out farther than my, my bolt does. So, Alright, so that goes there. So then I'm going to set this down. Now, watch out on your, uh, your uh, screws right here. They have little rubber washers on the back. I know it's hard to tell on my camera. But they also come with two extra washers inside the bag that has the... Uh, that has the uh, Allen screw. So set that off. Alright, now here's the little bit of the difficult part. So you, you take this, like I said, and you can tell how these fit. So take these and just wrap around it. And you can see this right here, it'll, it'll, it'll go right up against the scope. Now, me, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to to uh, line this up with the center of the scope so that part goes right there and then this part will fit in right there now you can see there's a little bit of a gap right here but it's all the way up against it here it's all the way up against it here and if you push it kind of close the gap in so we're gonna we're gonna see what happens when we put the able on there all right so on the able I'm sliding it on the hardest part about this is getting this able past the uh, the uh, front part so you kind of got to work and twist and I'm trying to do it on the camera so it's gonna Oh, so the screw just came out and I don't know my little oh there it is so let me turn this upside down okay here's my little plastic uh, rubber washer so okay let me get back see this is the hardest part right here is getting it past this sorry I have to twist and turn but I'll try to do this on camera uh, so there it goes now what I'm doing see if it works is I'm going to line my able bracket up with the back of my plastic uh, uh, spacer so before I forget let me put my allen screw back in a little rubber piece that goes on it if I don't do it right now I'll forget to put the little rubber piece on it okay so there it is so I try to get the spacer in the center 
And now I'm turn the able and try to get it in the center. And then close it down. Now all I want to do is just get these started. Okay, that one started. I want to get it started so they don't fall out and so I don't lose my little rubber washer. Okay, they're started. So, this piece is on. Now, like I said, I'll try to keep the able where it's uh, centered up and everything. So, just kind of finagling with it. I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is my first time doing this. So, if I go through and test fit this stuff and figure it all out and put it on camera, then it don't, I don't know. I don't know if it really shows you how easy or how hard it is. So, y'all are learning this as I'm learning this. Okay, I am going to pull it off the camera for a second so I can see if I have the, the able kind of lined up. I can't do it on the camera. So, one second. Okay, so what I was doing was I was make, trying to make sure that the able right here was kind of in line. I didn't want it setting off to the left or to the right too much, so that's all I was doing. Alright, so let's continue tightening these down. And just kind of go back and forth between the two. You know, I can I can feel it tightening down. I don't want to break nothing, but you want to make sure it's nice and tight. You can see how just each one just kind of turns just a little bit. Okay, so now switch it around. Let's look at our gap. So see our gap is closed some, not all the way, but that's okay. I mean, as long as it's tight, right? I mean, I hate having a gap. I have OCD, so uh, you know I don't I don't want to have a gap, but I'd rather be tight and stuff up there and have that little gap and slide around. I've seen some on some videos where they uh, they move around a lot so okay that's tight now just see okay so it's not moving right now so it's in line there's a small little gap right here but you know maybe I have mine pushed forward a little bit farther the uh, focus ring still moves up here right all right, now take the little Allen wrench, and there's a set screw right there. Now make sure I didn't tell you, but when you go to take your uh, sun, uh, the uh, sun thing off, you have to loosen that up. So I hope you figure that out before you get all the way here. Well, you definitely will. Now you just take this, and you just turn this, and it goes down inside in there, and kind of just uh, you know it's a set screw, so it. Whatever it's poking into down there, it just kind of allows it not to turn left or right. And I'm just kind of trying to, that seems to be okay right there. Now I'm going to be using this on a crossbow, so, you know, maybe, you know, I won't have the recoil everybody else has. Now we'll say, turning it left to right, front to back, I cannot get it to move. I, I, it's not moving for me. So, uh, that's how I put the... That's how I put it on there. So, uh, you know, I hope this helps somebody out and uh, stay tuned for more videos.